Good afternoon everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful time. So lots of subscribers, viewers, followers keep asking me where to stay in Bangkok. So I always ask them what are you looking for? Are you looking for nightlife, shopping or you are a solo traveler or is it your first time in Bangkok? So I decided to do a series which is called where to stay in Bangkok and in this series I'm gonna show you lots of areas depending on what you are looking for. Today is the first episode from where to stay in Bangkok and we are going to cover up the area between National Stadium and Siam. This area is known for its shopping center, cultural centers and also street food. So if you are looking for such an area, especially for solo travelers, first time in Bangkok and also for family travelers. So it will be very interesting vlog because I'm gonna show you some choices where you can stay and along the way everything you can enjoy if you are staying in this area. So I just arrived to BTS National Stadium which is located next to MBK Mall, one of the famous malls in this area. We're gonna start covering this place and showing you what are the things that you can see and enjoy and what are the possible places that you can stay. After that we are going to walk towards Siam which is also located next to the BTS Siam. So as you see both areas you can reach it by BTS SkyTrain and this is one of the privileges to stay in this area. So once you reach to BTS National Stadium, the first thing that you can enjoy in this area is to access the biggest and most famous mall in the area which is called MBK Center. The second thing that you can enjoy once you arrive to BTS National Stadium is that you can stay in one of the biggest international chains which is Ibis Hotel and Mirkur Hotel. So these hotels are located just next to the BTS if you want to stay in the area and as you see from the pictures it's just to the MBK center. Now the third thing that you will enjoy in this area is the beautiful views of SkyTrain because there is intersection between Silom and Sukhumvit line so if you love to watch the SkyTrain the lights and all the ambience especially at nighttime because MBK and the surroundings are so beautiful at nighttime where the lights are on so I'm sure you will enjoy all these things while you are staying in this area. So my friends as you see we are still next to the BTS station and we didn't go anywhere and you already have three privileges to enjoy from the shopping center the good hotels in the area and all the atmosphere around me as you can see it's still early and a lot of people enjoying here to take some beautiful pictures from here a lot of spots to take beautiful pictures besides enjoying the views of the sky train and at night this place is fantastic i'm gonna show you a little bit the atmosphere at night and then we are going to walk towards siam to start reviewing that area Now my friends, if you want to go from MBK to Siam, you don't have to take any taxis or tuk-tuks or any way of transportation because you can walk, it's not so far, you have the skywalk. But if you don't like walking, it's only one station far from National Stadium. So if you like walking, I'm gonna show you the way, but if you don't like, you can take a BTS from National Stadium towards Siam, it's only one station. From here you can see the Siam BTS. So it's not so far. We've just walked one minute and we are at Siam BTS. Lots of people guys, they think that these areas are so far from each other and they take tuk-tuks, taxis. Those are waste of time and scams. If you like exploring, just walk. You have lots of shopping malls and markets around. You can explore them before even reaching to Siam center. So here we are next to Siam Paragon, one of the fanciest malls 
located in Siam area. This is BTS Siam. I have already told you that these two places can be accessed directly from BTS station. This is another entrance to Siam Paragon. You can access directly to the food court. I'm gonna show you later. So you have a lot of shopping choices in the area and also lots of food choices. So what are you looking for? You are in very beautiful area in Bangkok and at the same time you have all the privileges to enjoy shopping, food, culture. Moreover, the transportation is super easy in this area. You can take BTS and access any place in downtown Bangkok. So here we are heading towards Siam Paragon which has also an access to Siam Center. So Siam Center is the intersection between National Stadium and Siam. So if you love walking, exploring around, shopping, food, this area is for you. Today is Thursday and this place is always busy. So at weekends, it's much more busier and you have lots of places to take too many beautiful pictures. Now let me show you a little bit around and give you an idea about this big mall and after that we are going to continue to explore around. So my friends, as you see from the pictures that this is a very fancy mall in Siam. It's called Siam Paragon. It's one of the fanciest malls beside the Central World. Now MBK is not that much fancy. It has more cheap and affordable prices. But Siam and all the chain like Siam Paragon, Siam Center or Econ Siam, these malls are all fancy malls. So if you love fancy shopping, then staying in Siam area would be a great choice for you, especially for people are traveling for the first time to Bangkok and for family travelers. Here we are at the food court and this place needs a special vlog. It's in my schedule. I'm gonna do a vlog about this place because it has lots of tasty and yummy things. It's really nice to come here and enjoy local and international brands. First of all, it has a big market for shopping, a supermarket, and besides the food court that is located next to it. So as I was saying, we need a full vlog about this place and it's in my schedule. I'm gonna come here, try lots of things and tease you but the most lovely things here are the sweets for me. You have lots of choices for breakfast besides all the international brands. Let me show you a little bit around and continue our today's vlog which is where to stay in Bangkok especially for family and first-time travelers. Now I am outside of Siam Paragon. I'm gonna show you that there are also lots of food and shopping options at the opposite side of this big mall. So let's continue showing you around. So that was Siam Paragon. Now we are at the opposite side of the mall and we are entering a local food court. Here things are much cheaper, of course you're not in a fancy mall so you have all the options you like luxury you like fancy or you like local even if you are staying in Siam area which is known for its luxury but the options are a lot so this is a local food market I am already full I'm not going to try anything I'm just showing you around because at the opposite side of this market also you have places where you can buy lots of promotional items. 
So either you shop in Siam or if you want to save money and buy promotional items, you have at the opposite side of Siam. So these items are all promotional. As you see, it was 790, now 390. These are swimming suits. Let's continue. We are not here for shopping, but it's always good to show you around so that you will have an idea where you are staying. It's not only the hotel, it's about the surrounding of the hotel and where you are staying. And I am sure from the pictures you can see that this place is good for solo first-time travelers, also for family travelers. Now, if you want to stay in this area, no problem, but it's more suitable for those category. Let's try to go out from this place. It's so crowded. Five pieces, 100 baht. Three pieces for 100. Well, in Thailand, the best thing you can do is always to buy in bulk and you will save money. Of course, this is not the cheapest area for shopping, but you have affordable and promotional items. We are going to make another vlog to show you what is the best area if you love cheap shopping. So always keep an eye on our channel because we are going to show you all the places that you like to stay in Bangkok. So now let me give you an idea about the options of the hotels that you can stay. Again, you have lots of international chains in the area. This is one of them, Novotel. Hotel. It's so famous. So comfortable hotel. It's not so fancy, but the prices are acceptable. So Nov Hotel is just located next to Siam if you want to stay in the area. Now, if you like to know more about hotels, you can just put Siam once you are booking and you will see all the options that you can stay in this area depending on your budget. I have made lots of reviews in my channel about hotels. Also, you can check them. But if you prefer to stay in Siam, it's so easy, lots of hotels here. And you have budget hotels and luxury hotels. So here we are next to the BTS. I'm still seeing a lot of options of shopping and food, but I'm gonna stop the vlog. And I'm gonna ask you if you like this area, which is located between National Stadium and Siam. As you saw, this is a good place for you to stay if you are coming to Thailand for the first time as a solo traveler or maybe family. But also if you like to stay in an area where there are lots of shopping options and food, this is a good place. It's a fancy place, but again, you have lots of affordable options. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna make other reviews about other areas concerning nightlife, shopping, and many other things that you like. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.